Hey, everybody, Ann here. And Papa, <laughs> the puppies are outside having my coffee, finishing it up. And you know what? I was up late last night thinking about those two big trees out in my woods, and I gotta get them done today. I've got to get them done. Man, I really, really want that big tree that goes all the way up this way. It has that other one that's leaning on it. So I'm thinking if I cut this down, that other tree is gonna slide down and come and get me. So I don't know. I mean, the one that goes this way is cedar. I don't know what that other one is. So I'm gonna see if I can get that other one down first. As I'm assessing this, there's this one this way that will likely to stop it. Um, but really, I think I need to stand on the other side and saw from that direction because I think it's gonna just fall this way, you know, towards me. Um, I mean, duh, look at that. Um, so yeah, let me, let me just do that. I'm not going to film it. I'm just going to do it. If I feel like it's getting unsafe, then I will step away from the tree. Now that I'm on the other side of it, I can see what could potentially happen. And that is that if I cut it, and I'm going to cut it above this little scar here. If I cut it, the top of the tree is going to go that way. And the bottom of the tree is going to go this way towards me and it'll hit me in the gut. So I think I need to do this from the other side. Hear that? It is starting to crack. I'm gonna step away. Let me pick up my saw. It's gonna go any second. Come on, Mr. Tree. Don't freak me out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna saw just a little bit more. Almost sawed through. I can hear it cracking. At least it's not pinching my blade. I'm just afraid to saw further because I'm not sure what it's going to do. I think I'm overthinking this, don't you? It's starting to turn. I see this shifting this way. Um, you know, I think I'm going to be okay if I get on the other side and just finish sawing it. Oh, it is just ever so slightly shifting. Okay, let me get this done. There we go. It did it. But it's still just dangling there. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. I'm thinking now that I've got this separated. Whoa. Whoa. I think I'm going to get out of this general area. I'm thinking that now that I've got this separated, I'm going to be able to cut this down. This is going to come down. This is going to come down on top of it. I don't know. What do you think? You think I'm crazy? Yeah, I'm pretty crazy. We all got a little crazy in us. Did it. That was exciting. Look at that beautiful wood. I did cut it kind of far away from the ground. I don't know why. Something just told me I needed to do it that way. And it actually turned out pretty good because it didn't pinch my blade. So now we've got this one down on the ground. <laughs> that one is still leaning against it. Um, so I think my next step is going to be cutting this smaller and letting this fall away. And then I'll be able to cut this smaller. See what I mean? Yeah. Cut that one into pieces. I'll probably like cut it maybe like right there and then cut it up and then make these into smaller pieces. Yeah, uh -huh, I think that's going to be a lot of wood. Cedar, don't know what kind of tree that is, but I'm sure it'll burn just fine. I had to go into town and I brought Papa the up. He loves going for rides in the truck with me. Eventually the puppies are going to come, but I got to make sure they're not going to poop and pee all over the place. Anyhow, so what I've been doing, uh, because my DoorDash card hasn't arrived still yet, um, I have started doing mystery shopping, and it's actually kind of fun. So anytime I go into town, I will do some mystery shopping and get paid for various tasks here and there, and I've already received a couple different payouts. And you know what? I think this is fun. I do. I mean, I could DoorDash and... Um, you know, mystery shop at the same time from waiting around to 
pick up an order, uh, I can do some mystery shopping. So it's a way for me to get a few bucks in, um, and that makes me kind of happy. So I have to go and finish up, finish cutting up that wood. I don't know, it's 2 p.m. I think I can get, I think I can get maybe at least one of those trees apart. So wish me luck. You may have noticed a package behind me in the truck. Well, when I got down to the bottom of my street, I keep a wagon there for deliveries, and there was a big box in it. So I'm going to open it now. Pretty sure I know what it is. Let's cut into this. Oh, gosh. Please let it be what I think it is. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with anything, but let me just open this up. Yep, it is exactly what I thought. This is just not 10 feet. This is 50 feet of insulation that I get to put up on my ceiling. So now it's time for me to go try and find a ladder. I am so stoked. I just can't believe it. Thank you so much. Now, I have reached out to the individual um, to see if it's okay if I share their name or if they want to just keep that private. Um, I'll let you know at the end of the video. But thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to get more ceiling insulation up. I don't know if I'm going to get it done today because I don't know if I can find a ladder. I did ask Mr. Lucas across the street and he has a step ladder that's just a little bit higher than mine. You know, now that I, I look at the my peaks, I think that they're, I don't know if that ladder is going to be tall enough. So I've asked my neighbor, so hopefully he'll be able to get a ladder um, and I'll be able to borrow one from him. Anyhow, oh, awesome awesome day oh my goodness I laid my head down on my pillow for I said I'm just gonna rest my eyes for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go tackle those trees I took a two and a half hour nap <laughs> I guess I needed it so the day is kind of winding to a close I'm gonna tackle those trees tomorrow though you can be sure of that unless it rains it's a big job such a big job Campy is over there being a crazy man. Anyhow, yeah, I'm going to show you the chickens more tomorrow, too, because the roosters are just getting so gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as my papa, though. Oh, he's such a good boy. He is the best dog ever. I don't think, I mean, the puppies are great. I love them. I'll be glad when they're full-grown dogs. But Mr. Papa here, he is just a special dog. Anyway, um, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.